there are many different coastal landforms that make the UK's coastline distinct, ranging from beaches through to arches, stacks and stumps. Take a moment to look at these pictures, pause the presentation, see how many different landforms you recognise. Done that? Here's some examples of what you'd find in the UK. Our case study of, of coastal landforms is Old Harry Rocks on the Dorset coast. The Dorset coast is on the southwestern coast of, of the UK. The image there shows Old Harry Rocks. Old Harry Rocks are a collection of stacks and stumps. They're formed on a headland of harder rock that sticks out into the sea. And again, just like at Overstrand, it's the geology that's helped create this distinctive landscape. You can see from the uh, chloropleth map, you've got the softer sand and clay and softer clay. And in between that, sandwiched is a harder rock, chalk. And so the chalk is significantly more resistant to erosion than the clay and the sand and clay on either side. And so what's happened is the uh, chalk has eroded more slowly. And so it's sticking out into the sea. And this is what we call a headland. On either side at Swanage Bay and Studland Bay, you've got a bay. And in those calmer bays is where you'd often get deposition. You'd get the beach forming. So on a headland, the waves can erode the cliff on both sides of the cliff, and that's what is happening at Old Harry Rocks. So headlands suffer lots of erosion. The main erosion process involved is the process called hydraulic action. This involves the force of the water from a wave crashing into the cliff, and what that wave does is it will force air into the crack in the cliff, and when that wave retreats, the air expands rapidly. And that exerts a force on the rock, and that can cause it to break off. That's the first process, hydraulic action, the force of the water. The second main process is abrasion. As those uh, waves carry material, that material gets thrown against the cliff, whether it's stones, whether it's bits of sand. And those bits of material will rub against the cliff, slowly wearing it away. That's called abrasion. Putting that all together, these processes of, of abrasion and hydraulic action will be eroding the headland. And the parts of the headland that are sticking out furthest into the sea will have been eroded for longer. So let's look at the different stages of erosion that will cause that headland to eventually form a stump formation like we'd see at Old Harry Rocks. So starting off with the headland, cracks in the rock will start to form. And these will get widened by those same processes of abrasion and hydraulic action. Eventually, those cracks will widen so much that they form a cave. The sea will continue eroding that cave and maybe from both sides of that headland until it erodes all the way through to form an arch. The base of the arch will also continue to be eroded by those processes of hydraulic action and abrasion. Eventually the roof of the arch will collapse and you are left with a stack. The stack itself will now continue to be eroded and you can see on this particular picture the base of the stack has been undercut by hydro hydraulic action and abrasion and so eventually the stack will also collapse and this leaves behind a stump. In fact all the uh, little rocks here sticking out into the sea are the remnants of old stumps. They're all old stacks that have collapsed. And at one point, the actual headland would have come all the way out to those points. So you can see how much erosion has happened. You can pause this slide to recap those processes. So in summary, Old Harry Rocks is a case study of a hard rock landscape where you find stacks and stumps formed by processes of erosion, such as hydraulic action and abrasion. In contrast, Overstrand, where we looked at coastal management, you've got a soft rock coastal landscape. The cliffs are eroding so fast that you'd never form a stack or a stump. Instead, what happens is the cliff will slump.